Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Good morning. I hope that y'all feel great and fine. I'm ready to attack the day. It is like 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm up. This is pre-recorded. As y'all know, I'm in uh, YouTube jail for whatever fucking reason. They done said some more bullshit. I'm like, what the fuck is you? Anyway. But I still will be uh, pre-recording my shits and posting them up. You know what I'm saying? So please follow me and y'all like that shit, subscribe, leave a comment, like, do I have to say this shit? Y'all already know how it goes, but I hope that you do, do. I appreciate that. It's, um, definitely appreciate it, by your girl. So look, check this out. So today I want to talk about just knowing when somebody is going to fuck you, basically. It's all in their eyes. Like, this is the way in which somebody look at you. You know what I'm saying? Can't you tell when somebody... Well, well, some people don't. Like, if you're not aware of, like, your own sexual... Aware of you as a sexual being, aware as a woman as your sexual power, it's also a man, too. Like, it's all about, like, the way in which a person, like, look at you and also their body language. You know what I'm saying? But it's mainly come from the eyes. Now, if somebody touching you and all that other shit, now, now they violate you, bitch. Now you gotta put your hands on them. Now, you disrespect the bitch. Like, now, so we ain't talking about that. So we, we are all um, reasonable and uh, kind adults here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but then you have to know, like, the way in which somebody look at you. I had, so y'all know I got stories for your ass. So, um, I had a doctor who I knew what the fuck me, yo. He's the way he's just, listen, he stopped. I came in the office and he just was like, I mean, he could have been captivated by my beauty, but that too. But he, um, he also like just the way he was like, just there at me. And it wasn't like no small train shit, like people like, like that shit, but. Like a direct, like straight, like eye contact. You know what I'm saying? I had another doctor like that too, who just like it's the way that a person, the way that their eyes peer through yours. You know what I'm saying? When you because when you talk to somebody, you have to give eye contact and be looking all down like you're some dumbass. Man. Like you know what I'm saying? You, look, you give people eye contact, but it's such like the peering, like if somebody like just staring at you. You know, like giving that, giving you that vibe. Then you know that person want to have sex with you. So you have to pay attention to shit like that to know like where you going and also you know what I'm saying and and, and if this person want to have sex with you or not. So um, and if it's only just that, because sometimes it is just that they just want to fuck your ass. It's okay. Women do the same shit to do. And it's also like in their, their body language and their, their language, the shit that they use when they're talking to you and stuff like that. And them being like overly kind. And, and although we all should always be kind to one another, but you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what's up. Like, just, just, you know. And also, like, men and women, how to use that shit to your advantage. I'm just saying, like, you have to seize opportunity when they're there. That's why a lot of people get lost out in this world because they don't know how to. Not to say that you need to take full advantage or like overly take advantage of, but like use it to your advantage. Like if you know a person won't fuck you, like, okay, they got something that you can use or tools that you can use to help you live your best life, as everybody like to say, but um, to get you to like point A to point B, then yeah, you, you, you take that and you use that. You know what I'm saying? Hello, ladies and men. Like, this life is it's already a motherfucking struggle, especially if you're a black person. Oh, my God. We got to, like, it's so motherfucking hard. You know what I'm saying? But not to say that you can't do it because you can. You know, I'm always about uplifting people. That's just what this shit is all about. You know what I'm saying? But notice when somebody look you in your eye, there's a way and there's a feeling like you feel it, like it penetrates through your soul. You know what somebody wants to. But sometimes you can overlook it because you're not even thinking about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, 
got shit on your mind, you ain't even got time, but always stay in the moment, be present, pay attention to how a person reacts to you, um, and then rest of it, I mean, they, they could just possibly just like you, or whatever the case, but also just to know how to use these opportunities to your advantage. So we live in this world, this world is also governed by uh, money and finance and shit, and everybody out here motherfucking struggling, and I know everybody out here, we, I get, everybody want to be rich or put that out there like the all on the gram and all whatever that they just did. And then maybe they are, you know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of motherfuckers is not. But that's okay, like, I guess you want to live a fantasy life. That's on you. But, um, to not, I hope you don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's just like, a, why, why the perfection of life? Y'all know my mind, it goes boom. One subject to the next. That's just how my life is. My mind goes. You know what I'm saying? One thought um, starts another motherfucking conversation with me. This is how I move. Follow me, please. Follow me. It's not that difficult. But yeah, but it's a way in which somebody look at you to let you know, like, if they're like, interested in you, they want to fuck you, whatever, and how you can take those, that, and use it to your advantage, like, it's this one guy I know who desperately, not only, yeah, he definitely do, because the way he looked at me, he, he been at it for, like, years now, and, um, you know, he just came out and was like, you know, it's like, I would like to spend some time with you, blah, 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 whatever the case, but no, I'm not, and of course, he got a girlfriend, they all got girlfriends, and yeah, you bitches who got girlfriends and men, like, Holes. Somebody always want to fuck somebody else. Even chicks do too. Y'all just like suppress that fucking feeling. Like, no, I'm not going to fuck her because, you know, I got a boyfriend or I got a girlfriend or, you know what I'm saying? No, you know, you want to be faithful and that's good and you should be. But, you know what I'm saying? If you understand sex like that shit, it's not even motherfucking. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> like, also, bro, you that you just. Only want to fuck this one person. Respect your relationship, though. I think you definitely should do that. And hopefully, y'all are able to have these type of conversations. Hopefully, so that you can go and grow and build. But relationships are about like building. Two motherfucking paychecks, two incomes is all always better than one. Always. But back to the question at hand, but to my people who know that other people is interested in, take that and use that to your advantage. Get what you need from them. It's plain and simple. This life is about, it's all about barter. You give me this, I get, you know what I'm saying? You want that, keep that, keep it on the burner. Like, don't give them what they want because they want it, especially like a man, but maybe women, I don't know. I don't fall in that category, so I don't really know how that would work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to want somebody and just running around like, well, I think that's a whole different conversation. But he already got me on his radar. He already know what time it is. But um, but for for God, for for females, if you got guys that like you, like, and you know you're not really that much interested or whatever the case. But you just know you just got them. Like, use that to your advantage. I'm not saying take advantage, but use it to your advantage to get you to whatever you need to get from that person. And trust me, they will give it to you. Big or small, whatever. We all need things and to be able to grow and grow and build in this motherfucking life. Seize the opportunity, bitches. It's there. It's called, And that's also using your sexual uh, power as well. Use it. You got it, use especially if you want it. Don't give it to him. Mm -mm. Flirt with him a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And use that shit to your advantage. Know when somebody want to fuck you and know when they get what you need to get from them. And, and you don't miss, you don't have to fuck them to get what you need to get from them. Ladies. Facts. Y'all have a great day. I'm about to start my day. It's a beautiful day outside. You know, it's nice and sunny. We've been having 
beautiful one of him. He's like, oh my God. I'm like so grateful for that shit. Don't gotta turn on the goddamn AZ. Anyway, y'all have a fantastic day. And uh, y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, all that good shit. Follow me on Facebook. I think I may be full now, but scratch that. So, um, Instagram, Real Seductive. LinkedIn, Real Oja. Uh, Twitter, Real Seductive. And, um, yeah, just remember, also I have my book, Quickie Out. Get that. It's seven short stories. Um, you can get it at... Um, smashword.com forward slash books forward slash um, view forward slash 820960 and you can get the book there please show your support um, the plot is juicy the character is relatable and the sex is hot and motherfucking smoking and it's a great read so and it's a it's it's a play on words. It truly is quickie because it's just seven fucking stories. But it's very interesting. I think you'll get a lot out of it. Um, and also, ladies, you know, I have my service called Seductive Art, which is around my sexuality. I teach visual stimulation. We have real sex talk. Um, then we put on our heels, and I teach them erotic and sexual dance. We have my bachelorette party, girls' night out event. Um, birthday party want me to come and speak at a speaking engagement hit me up learn more at my blog which is real sex talk dot blog spot dot com real is always spelled like my name which is r-i-l-l -L. i'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching and um have a fantastic day and tomorrow you know i'm here every monday tuesday wednesday 8 a.m ish see you tomorrow